instead of tending somebody else's garden. By the time you get back to your garden, the vines are all grown up and everything, right? If, if we can't start with me today, if you can't start with you today, then humble yourself before the Lord. It, it, it's not something that you're just going to be able to walk into your house and do because we're not set up that way. Again, I'll go back to, to being dead broke, in the ditch, all you have are the clothes on your back. That's when you reach out to the Lord because there's nothing left. There's nothing left. That's when you reach out to the Lord. That's when you want to believe. That's when you want to have faith. What's wrong with today when you're on top of the world? What's wrong with today when you have a, a, a walk-in closet the size of most people's bedroom? What's wrong with today when you have a fine truck and a horse trailer and a fancy car and, and, and 1,300 pairs of boots and all you have? What's wrong with today? How come you're not reaching out for the Lord today? Because you don't think you need it. You think you did okay. You did it all on your own, didn't you? You got the job. You got the promotion. You got the raise. You scratched the lottery ticket. It was all you, wasn't it? That's what's wrong with the world. It's not all you. It's not all me. It's all him. The sooner we get there to that realization, the sooner we can fall, we can melt into that stick of blood. The sooner we can get down on our knees and give it all to the Lord and humble ourselves and begin to receive everything He promised us. We're going to have our uh, elders and, and lake pastors get ready for uh, the last uh, Lord's Supper today. We're going to take communion. So, uh, guys, if y'all go ahead and get that set up. I want to. Uh, I don't know if I did that. I want to take just a few more seconds, and I, I want to emphasize to you this 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 Christianity, folks. It's not, it's not what a lot of people think it is. Okay? There's a lot more to it. And I think you found that out today. There's a lot more to it. Believing. Believing. How many people in here believe in Santa Claus? Look at all, look at all the hands go up. Mr. Hooper had the first hand go up. I believe in Santa Claus. David Applegate believes in Santa Claus. When you believe in Santa Claus, you can't wait for December the 24th to roll around because you know when you wake up in the morning, there's going to be presents from Santa. Or coal. But if you don't wake up tomorrow, is there going to be presents from God? Amen. Does God have presents in your life? Now go ahead, guys. Y'all start passing them out. Amen. You've got to have that presence now. Now, 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 now. Yes, 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 Lord. We can't wait for December the 24th every year to reach out to the Lord. We can be reaching out to the Lord every minute, every second, every day. Thank you, sir. We need to have that presence in our life now and not wait. Okay? Belief is not everything that you thought it was. And I hope that we're going to touch on that some more next week and the week after until we all come to the realization that none of us are true believers. But we can be. And that's the good news. We can be. And if I have anything to do with it, the Lord has anything to do with it, we will be. Okay? We're going to get there. God's grace and His mighty hand, we'll get there. You know what? I think we need to add Mrs. Smith in prayer request. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't call her out during prayer request, did we? Yeah, we Mrs. Did we? Yeah. No, we did it in men's prayer. We didn't do it in here. Mrs. Smith's under the weather this morning, so we want to add her to the prayer chain. If I click on that, it will come off. Y'all get excited much? <laughs> Well, we forgot to do it, didn't we, Mike? And I forgot we forgot to do it. I got so excited about the sermon, I forgot to do it. Y'all know we got to do this every Sunday, right? 
Y'all ready to say it with me? Yeah. I love Sundays! Man. There he is. He's up getting better than this, I'm going to tell you right now. talking about belief today and we're talking about believing in the resurrection and just before the resurrection Jesus knew where he was fixing to be going and what he was fixing to accomplish with the Lord for the Father. As he sat with these men at the Last Supper and he, he talked to them and he, he let them know what lay in store for him. He asked them to take this bread and remember it as his body because he knew that he was going to be leaving he knew he was going to be gone but he knew he would be coming back so when we eat this today we do it in remembrance of the Lord's body then Jesus filled the cup and he passed it around the table he said, drink from this cup. This signifies my blood. It's going to be shed on the cross here very soon. This blood cleanses you. When you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your throne. Today, Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you for your son, Lord. We thank you for the sacrifice that he made on the cross for our filthy, dirty selves, Father. We thank you for his blood that cleansed us. We thank you for his body that took all of our sins. 
Father, we thank you for his death and resurrection, which guarantees our salvation when we believe, when we confess that he is our Lord and Savior. Father, I pray today that if there is someone here, someone here today, Lord, that, that needs to hear what it takes to be saved, that they heard it. I pray that that person is willing, Father, that they can step up today and be baptized in this water to be cleansed in the likeness of his death. Father, I just pray for all the souls that are here today and those that couldn't be here. Once again, Father, just fill them with the Holy Spirit. Let them be open and invite the Holy Spirit into their lives, Father, into their bodies, so that they can begin to experience you on a level they have yet to experience you. Father, we just thank you for the daily anointings that you give us. We thank you for the blessings and the gifts. We thank you for the blood that was shed on Calvary. We thank you for your Son. We thank you for putting us here together. One building, one group, one family of believers who are growing in faith on a daily basis. We're not perfect Christians. There is no such thing, Father. We want to make that known to the world. There are no perfect Christians. There are only people who are trying to get better through you each and every day of their life. Father, I pray that we can come to the point in our lives that we can claim healing in the name of Jesus Christ and we'll be able to do that because we believe so passionately that we have so much conviction of your word that we can do these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, Father, we love you and we praise you and we thank you so much for your Son. It's in His holy and precious name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Romans chapter 10, verse 9 does give us that opportunity. And I don't know if we turn the heater on today or not, but I don't care. Yes, it's on. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you remain right with God, and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. There are some things in life you can get away without doing. There are some things in life that you can skip on, that you can, that you can take shortcuts on. Your salvation is not one of those things. You cannot skimp, you cannot... Uh, Skip from the front cover to the back cover, cover and skip everything in between. Your salvation comes down to this right here. Openly declaring that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and believing in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. We just talked about that in that last prayer. And I pray that there's anyone here today that needs that in their life. That if willing to accept their salvation today, please don't leave this church without speaking to me. Please don't leave this church without speaking to one of my elders or lay pastors. We want to pray for you. We want to pray with you. And we want to put you in line with God. Because that's the only line to be in, folks. That's the only line to be in. Alright, we do have a leadership meeting today after church. Uh, it is an open leadership meeting, so anybody that wants to come on in can see how the church is running, what we got going on. I want to remind everybody.